In this video, you will learn how to create questions and exams in Kutubi Author. Now I have a book open in front of me. I'm going to go to one of the chapters, which is the last chapter called Questions. And here we have a placeholder for some practice questions. Now this is just a placeholder, it tells us some information about the questions, the total number of questions, the kind of response. But to see the questions in action, I'm going to preview the chapter. So this puts us into preview mode. Now we can see the chapters here. We have some uh, MCQ questions. We have some images in the questions. We have some true-false questions, so on. Let me scroll to the bottom. And then at the end, we have submit answers. I'm going to just jump and click on that. And it will show me this uh, box, giving me uh, my result. Zero questions out of 20 click on OK and just uh, have a quick look you can see that the correct answers are highlighted and actually the last question gives me some explanation for the correct answer so, so this just gives you an idea of what to expect when creating questions in Kutubi Author so I'm going to exit this and I'm going to create a new book alright I have my first chapter called questions. Now let's create a brand new question module or exam and see how we can build such a thing ourselves. So go to the toolbox and click on questions tool and this gives you the questions dialog box. Now I'm going to explain everything here. So first the title will be the, the text or the title that appears on top of the questions module. Now the response is basically what happens when the, when the student or user answers the, the questions. By default it's set on self-answer, which is what you saw. It will show a, a box, a, a message or dialog box, uh, informing the user of the number of uh, correct answers he got out of the total. Now let's see the other options. You have self-answer with reports, so this will give, you, will give the student more details. So I'll make a list of each uh, question, whether he got it uh, right or wrong, with uh, some additional information. Uh, you can send the, you can uh, set the questions or the exam to be uh, uh, set to uh, to be sent to the to an instructor, to any email of your choice. So once the user submits the the the, the exam, the instructor will receive an email containing the answers for that student okay and then the last option is do nothing and this can be thought of as a as an option for for uh, activities happening inside the classroom where the teacher wants to uh, physically uh, see uh, on the site what the student has answered okay so I'm going to leave it on self answer now here it tells you the number of questions that you currently have and then you can add different types of questions. You have true-false questions, you have multiple choice questions, you have multiple choice, multiple answer questions. So that's MCQ, but you can select more than one correct answer. So we'll start by clicking on true-false to add our first question. So here simply you add the statement, the true-false statement that you want. Then from the right you select the correct answer, whether that's true or false. Now let's click on that again and you have an option called edit choices. Sometimes you would not want true and false to be the, the options for the user. Sometimes you want it to be correct, incorrect. If you're using a different language, maybe you want something different than true or false. Or maybe the type of question uh, has the answers uh, right or left or you know any any different uh, options you can set them from here so you basically change them and then you click on the check button to apply the changes okay now you have further options here you can add an image to the question if you want or you can add an answer explanation now an, an answer explanation is some text that will appear under the question once the user submits the uh, uh, his, his answers so it's just basically it 
it explains why the correct answer is so. And this is something very useful actually in, in the real world if, uh, if, if you uh, want to apply it. And then we have the score weight. If there's a score set, we're going to discuss this uh, uh, in a bit, how to set scores. But if you have the sc uh, a score set for the for the questions, uh, it will show in the uh, in the dialog box at the end in the response in the self answer uh, response. It's going to show the score for the student. Now, why is it a score weight and not a score? Now, say you have ten questions and you give each question a score of ten. Okay, now we're talking about scores, not score weights. So you have 10 questions, each uh, question has a score of 10. So that's a total of 100. And you purposely want the, the exam to be out of 100. Now for any reason you decide to uh, add an, uh, a, another question. So that's the 11th question. Now this means that you have to go over all the uh, past questions and change their uh, scores so that each one is uh, well 100 divided by 11. That's nine point, uh, yeah, it's nine point one 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 something like that. So it's not it's not very meaningful to have a fixed score for each question if you uh, if you're going to assign a fixed score for the whole exam. So instead, this is why we have score weights. You can just put a weight for each question, and the the program will automatically calculate the score for each question depending on the number of questions, the different weights for each question, and the total score for the whole exam. Now I'm going to click on multiple choice to add a multiple choice question. It's a bit similar. You enter the question here. And you have this similar options for the questions, like adding an image, answer explanation, score weight, but then the, the answers, you enter them differently. So you put the choices, Oops. by default you have five choices uh, for the question, sorry, uh, four, but you can add extra if you want. And then from the right you just select the correct answer, which is four. Okay, so that's the basic idea around questions in Kutubi. Now, if you click on show more options, it will show you some some important options that you may want to know about. Okay, now we've selected the best uh, default. Uh, uh, we've set the default that we find appropriate without you having to go in and customize it yourself. But to give you an idea. I'm going to go through each one of these and explain them. The clear button will show a button saying clear that will clear the answers for the student. Preserve button, say a student answers the questions in the chapter and then goes to another chapter. If he, if he comes back, he will either see his answers still uh, entered, visible, or he will have the questions automatically reset. And that's what the preserve button does. If you set it to preserve, it means that uh, all his answers will be preserved wherever he goes in the book. Highlight answers, as you've seen in the demo in the beginning, when the, once the user submits the, his answers, it will highlight the correct answers in green. Passing score, now say you have a total score set for the exam. Passing score is the threshold that the user must pass in order to have a uh, a pass message in the dialog uh, box that will show for him. Randomize will random the order of questions right to left for Arabic and Hebrew uh, languages will just align everything from right to left. The language you can select between different languages and basically the language will be applied to uh, the buttons so submit uh, the submit button the clear the ra uh, randomize all these will be displayed in the appropriate language and also the message box that will appear once the user submits the the exam this will have the this will be translated in the appropriate language and that's the total score that we discussed here you can set the total score that will be fixed no matter how many questions you put uh, and the uh, and the uh, and the weights for each uh, question. 
And then finally you have some SCORM components. This is in case you're uh, building this for a, for, a, for an LMS, for a learning management system like uh, Moodle or Blackboard. Uh, you can uh, you can have the LMS control this module so that it's only uh, the questions are only answered once and the student is uh, prohibited from answering them again so more of uh, more secure and if you have different objectives you can assign this activity under a certain objective and this will appear in the LMS so click on create and preview there you have your questions submit and that's all